uh, 707. Let's go into the Zoom room now where uh, we got Frank the Crank uh, Camacho, UFC fighter, um, but kind of doing a little uh, something different here, Frank, um, with the 24-hour run walk uh, to raise awareness and raise money for uh, the Guam Homeless Coalition, right? Good morning, Frank. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks for having me. Good morning. 24 hours? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's a 24-hour, so right? As, yeah, I'm realizing that uh, uh, that I'm on the link now, there's there's no turning back. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, talk about, um, so who are you partnered with to do this? And how did this all come about? Yeah, so man, actually, um, you know, man, being a UFC fan, right, I got to uh, stay uh, physically in shape, right, for just at least a little bit. <laughs> and I, I went, I went running, I went running one day and today honestly felt I, I had no end point. You know, I just kind of kept running. I mean, I didn't run to it for 24 hours. <laughs> uh, I probably did like the most I've ever ran was probably 10 miles. And I don't know. It just, it was like, I don't know. I had I got the runner's high or like this epiphany or whatever. And I just kind of, it really just felt like the scene out of Forrest Gump when I was <laughs> running. Or I just kept running, you know, and, and I just kept running. And I was like, you know, I, I've always wanted to challenge myself uh, physically, but more so mentally. Um, and what way to do it through running. So I was going to do any something, something crazy like this anyway, you know, being the fighter that I am. And I was like, uh, you know, during the run, you know, I was just seeing people like panhandling and everything. And then I was, it was actually, it was an interview with you guys, uh, Mark. Uh, Aperon. Aperon, I think. Yeah. He was a homeless veteran. Yeah. And Holy moly, dude! That that uh that interview just really um just really spoke to me. You know, there was a lot of a lot of misconceptions that I was um that answered that, that were answered. You know, a lot of myths, a lot of misconceptions, and I was just like, holy moly! There's this this whole thing is not you know my idea of someone being homeless is uh you know someone all wrinkly and you know maybe like they they look like they're uh, you know, having like drug addictions and it's just, it's just, uh, the misconceptions of, of all these different things through my mind. And that interview just really opened my mind to do some research. And man, since I've been doing that, I was like, you know, might, might as well, you know, get two birds with one stone. Let me do this 24 hour thing on the selfish side. I've always wanted to challenge myself and, and see how many miles I can crank out in 24 hours. And, uh, I, I actually, um, Chris and he contacted the Guam Homeless Coalition. Um, freaking gave them the idea, uh, and then I, I at Scroll, you know, he throws events. He knows he knows the proper way of how to do all this stuff. I'm just kind of like, hey man, I'm gonna go run, dude. Ooh. So you know, we 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 partnered up with uh, Matt and then yeah, now there there's no turning back. <laughs> on on the 12th, uh, I think like at 8 a.m. We're gonna. St I'm gonna start from Mariso Pier. I'm gonna work my way up to Retidian Point, and then just keep going till the clock ends. You know, if I can, right? Like here I am acting all tough, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right when I get to uh, to to Aganya, I might be like, ah, shoot, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, Crank, are you gonna go? So you're gonna start at Molesto Pier. Are you going through the Agadimatic Way or in around Talapopo? Um, probably gonna go Agate Way. Okay. All right. And then so uh, guys just to kind of um put it all together here he's doing a 24-hour run walk to raise awareness on the issue of homelessness on Guam and then also raise funds for the Guam Homeless uh, Coalition but there's some ground rules with uh that you guys uh, came up with uh for this right Frank uh, what are those and yeah. then also how can people give you money or how can they get this yeah, money so to the homeless coalition yeah, so, so, so one of the ground rules is that uh, I'm not able to buy or yeah, buy food or any drink, drinks on the way, you know, so I can only receive upon donation. Um, another rule is once I get into like a vehicle, I'm automatically disqualified, uh, you know, within this 24 hour span. Yeah. And I can't sleep indoors. So if I was to ever sleep or take a nap or rest, I have to, I have to kind of just stay outdoors, you know, and um you know, people can donate. Uh, we just got the okay for uh, people to to donate uh, in kind goods uh, to the uh, the Salvation Army with Julian Santos. You know, you, diapers, baby wipes, baby soap, shampoo, uh, laundry detergent, um, fem, uh, feminine hygiene products, toothpaste, toothbrush, combs, 
first aid kits, uh, in, you know, like infant formula. And uh, we also have a link uh, on guamtime.net where you can uh, donate, mon you know, you can make monetary donations uh, via credit card or PayPal. And uh, again, 100% of the proceeds uh, will be going to the Guam Homeless Coalition. Uh, we got uh, in the comments here, um, I don't know if you're related to this Francisco Camacho, but uh, asking, can others join the run walk? Uh, I mean, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to be like, hey, let's all go because I'm let's do the Yeah, no, but, but um, uh, you know, there's, there's, you know, I guess like there's COVID restrictions, but hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you back from wanting to exercise for 24 hours. Right, right. <laughs> but you know, the, the, the more awareness that we can, that we can promote, you know, and, uh, um, would just be awesome you know everyone should if you're gonna if you're gonna come and and exercise for 24 hours you know like uh you know get creative and and so that we can spread awareness on this because it's just it's just the last few days of of, of doing some research it's just really it's such a complex uh such a complex situation and a lot of and you know a lot of people in guam are homeless you know yeah it's pretty overwhelming uh frank so yeah. I, I can't i can't imagine having sarah you know eight months pregnant and my two boys out on the street and you know uh with, with no home you know what i mean and uh, dude it's just yeah it's just it's just it's just mind-blowing and also too like you know anyway i don't got a million dollars bro uh you know what i mean but i, I got two working feet so if i can spread awareness uh, uh, like that why not all right so uh, this is happening next what friday what time um we're planning to start around 8 a.m on friday i think it's february 12th uh again the route where we're looking at starting from uh from a little pier and then we're gonna be working our way up to retidian point um just taking marine drive um all the way up north so well it's a scenic route that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, the the first part, the first part of the route's gonna kill me, dude. Because right. I'm like, holy moly, dude, the hills of Umatic are, gonna, kill, are yeah. gonna kill me. But once I get to flat ground, I think it would be a little, a little easier. Maybe you could do because it's a run walk. You could do the walk through, you know, Melissa Agiumatic, and then maybe run when you hit the flat of Agate. Hey, okay, that's another thing too, right? I'm thinking like, hey, I'm gonna be walking probably 99 percent of the time. Right, so maybe you should call it a walk run. <laughs> a walk run, walk yeah, run. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. Stroll, stroll, uh, Frank. So I guess let's get you on. Uh, I mean, I'd love to get you on when you kick it that's off wild. Friday, yeah. right? That'd be pretty mm -hmm. cool. So, and then we'll um, throw. There's a link on GuamTime.net. If you guys want to make monetary donations, and then they're also um, able to get in kind donations for the Guam Homeless Coalition. Uh, to include uh, baby formula, uh, sanitizers, all that kind of stuff, feminine hygiene products. Uh, what else, Frank? Uh, yeah, um, and for, for those that are online, you know, just you guys, uh, this week and, and starting next week, I'm going to start kind of, um, you know, pushing out content on just kind of educating people on like, on like homelessness, you know, like, like the myths, the the misconceptions of, 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 of what's really going on, you know, stuff that I'm, that I'm constantly learning. Right. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. And it's crazy. I've been getting of like people, you know, like, like kids that are, that are, that are constantly having to battle this, you know? So, I mean, it's very, very complex. Right. Uh, shoot, you guys know a lot about it, you know, and then you guys hear a lot about it. So it's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm able to somehow shine some, some light on it and, and, and talk about it that's cool that you use your platform you got a huge platform but you use mm -hmm. it to, to raise awareness about uh different issues it's cool it's to be commended yep. uh so yeah let's let's shoot for next friday frank if we can and then any other info you want us to get out before then uh, we're here to help um no man please please donate please help honk or even a wave you know when you see me on the road would help and uh yeah thank you Got it. Thank Shoot. you. There you go, Frank the Crank, uh, doing his 24-hour walk run. <laughs> walk, walk run. run. <laughs> to raise awareness on uh, the homeless and to raise uh, funds and goods for the Guam Homeless Coalition. 717.